Yo guys, quickly before the video starts, um, if you are new to the channel and if you want to hit the subscribe button, it would really help me a lot because it's free and it really gives me motivation to make uh, new videos. Uh, and yeah, let's get into the video. All right, guys. So uh, of course, next here um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to be generally better at designing, how to improve your uh, looking of your like headers, thumbnails, and graphics, how to finally attract your audience, how to get commissions, how to get, how to get clients. Because some of you have been asking me how to get clients, like how to blow up, uh, and yeah, just I can show you what what to do to like be better to improve. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's it, and we can we can get to like the tips and tricks that I want to show you. Alright, guys. So first tip is using camera row. You have to use camera row if you want to be be better. There is like no other way. Uh, if you didn't use camera row yet, you just have to start doing it because it really gives a nice effect to like your general general looking of your header or thumbnail. So it's very important and you can open it by clicking Ctrl, Shift and A. And now we're gonna just um, make some effects with it so I can show you how the header gets better with making it. Alright, so we can... Uh, I always start with contrast so I can see how the header is looking generally. So, so you always want to raise up a texture, a contrast a bit. Um, actually we can raise up an exposure too. And you can just really play with it. There is like, you just have to see which effects are looking better on the header. Texture is also so important. Clarity also. So I will make clarity like 10 and texture also 10. A curve we can, all right, we can just mess, mess around with, with it a bit, just like that. Detail is also so important, so we can raise up the noise reduction to like 50 and sharpening to like 70, yeah it's nice. And we are not going to go with color mixer because I don't really use it, I mean I think it's useless in my opinion, but uh, color grading is, is important actually. So we are of course going for like blue colors. Like that. Alright. Um, I also sometimes do vignetting just to like uh, get more contrast on the header. Just just make it like like that. Uh, and calibration. This is this one is very important. So we. We raise up a uh, tint. So, to be honest, we can just you know like play with it. Depends on like colors of your work. I will make it like that. All right. And look, like it looks way better now. Just look. It looks way better. And after that, uh, the next thing is uh, glowing effect. Uh, I guess like most of you already already know that effect, but it's really important if you want to make uh, like um, the look of your header look like just look better, you know. Um, so we're gonna press Ctrl and J to copy the layer. Go to Filter, Blur and, Ga and Gaussian Blur, not Lens Blur. My bad. Blur Gaussian Blur and make it 50. Then go to uh, blending mode and get linear dodge and make it 50%. Alright. And like it looks way better now, as you can see. Uh, now we can group it. Uh, and next thing, the third thing, uh, is we can, depends on the look of your design but generally I would like to like always add noise effect because it's really like it deletes all the like blurs and uh, like mm, pixels on the header so we go to filter noise add noise and I always add like 10 and look like it looks way better you know I mean 
if you like if you see generally the header with noise like it looks better than a header without noise i think and yeah um i think that's it if we talk about the headers like like headers think and we can go into the next tip all right guys and next thing is quality you see this render man like you see this render this render looks so fucking ass like oh my fucking god like you see this quality like this pixels uh bro we have to fix that so what i always do is before the camera and shit i always go to like filter to like but and that's it like you have to you have to make quality of your renders look better first and first you have to like renders are like a main part of the header so you have to make them look better first and then like the background and the text and shit so yeah that's really important so <clears throat> you go to filter you go to stylize and oil paint and we're just gonna mess around with with settings a bit just like that all right and actually you can just copy my settings all right and after that uh, we click Control shift and a and we go to camera again uh, we go to detail we raise up a noise reduction to get rid of this like paint shit if you know what I mean uh, and we don't raise sharpening so much just a bit like 40 then we go to basic and we raise up clarity and texture like that and press ok and look like it's way better like you see that you see that now and now like it's just way fucking better uh, and if you want to make quality of your render even better you go to filter you go to blur you go to smart smart blur uh, and you just get your own uh, settings as you as you want but I think it's not important now I think this this is cool uh, all right and if we are uh, on the render still uh, you asked me very very uh, very uh, very ma very many people have been asking me for that for like uh, highlights of the render but I will not make uh, highlights here I will make a whole different video how to make highlight highlights on your render because um, many many people have been asking me for that uh, so yeah just like this video will will be dropping um, soon I think uh, and yeah I think now uh, we can just hop on uh, the next tip yeah all right guys and next thing are colors if you um, if you do if you have a render and if your clients to be honest uh, like to, for example not to be honest sorry uh, ask you for uh, header with ASAP Rocky for example and you have a render where it's like mainly green colors you know you have to make you just have to you there is no other way you have to make a header with green color if you don't want to change i mean if you want to change colors of the render of course you can and if you can make a header with different colors but if you just if you have a render with like to, for example green colors you just have to make a header like mainly mainly green them like there is no other way i've seen many many people that are like you know putting like making a header with like purple them purple colors but they put like fucking red red render you know like you know what i mean and there is it can't work together like you have to you have to stick with the colors colors are our main thing colors are so important in your header you have to you have to stick with the colors so for example that if you have green render you off you like you just have to uh put green uh, lights 
uh, behind the render like man like there is no other way like bro you just can't look look L looks looks good right yeah looks good but now look at that i take purple color and look at this shit it doesn't match you have to stick with one one or two colors but if you just f for example the, if this text was purple this like this texture on his uh, his hoodie uh, then purple col color would be nice but if it's if it's green, if it's all green, you just have to make it green, there is no other way. So yeah, just stick with it, I I tell you, it's so fucking important. Uh, and yeah, I think we can go to next tip right, right now. Alright guys, and next thing are uh, not colors only of render, but colors of, uh, of the header. So that's the rule that I've been telling so many people that uh, that have been asking me for like some tips or tricks for Photoshop and just to be better. Don't use more than three colors on your header. Like you just can't use more than three colors. Like no, because because three colors are like maximum. To be honest, look at that header for example. There is green, there is white, and there is black, there is dark. So, that's it, I man. I mean, it looks good if you look at it. And look at it now. Like, we take a brush, uh, we create a layer, and we add, a, like, we can add, like, I don't know, like a red color, for example. And just look. It doesn't look good, man. It doesn't look good, look man, and for example here, like here and here, and we can also maybe add like blue color, what do you think, yeah, 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 let's, let's make more colors, yeah, that's it, yeah, 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 no bro, look at this fucking shit, like, no bro, don't use more than three colors on your header, like, you just can't, um, Oh yeah, and I think uh, that's it for today's video. I think I helped you. If yes, um, you can leave your opinions in the comments. Um, I think I will make more videos uh, of this type, uh, like that I'm saying, like some tips and tricks to how to be better. Uh, but uh, I have to brainstorm them first. Uh, and yeah, just see you in the next video. Next video is, I think, is going to be probably some speed art, but I don't know. Uh, so yeah, and of of course you can add, you can uh, join my Discord that I've uh, I've made some days ago with uh, help of my friends. Uh, the link is in the description. Um, so yeah, uh, I see you in the next video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.